Hi, welcome to Kitty Witty Papercraft. Today I am sharing a quick, easy way that you can customize a store bought traveler's notebook. Now you can use any traveler's notebook cover, so I'm talking specifically about covers. Um, this is a store bought. Uh, faux leather one and you can find these in a lot of different places um, you know major scrapbook stores sell them this is an echo park brand um, Webster's pages also makes one you can find covers on Etsy of course in leather or fabric um, so this would work on any cover really but I was kind of thinking of store-bought ones because they tend to be Kind of plain, nothing special, and if you happen to have a few of those like I do, um, this is a way that you can jazz them up a little bit and make them a little bit more personal um, to your style. And if you like vintage and kind of like the style that I'm using um, here on my kitty dories, then this might be an idea you want to try too. So, um Traveler's notebook covers like this come with an elastic closure and my kitty dories have a fabric closure. So my traveler's notebook um, junk journals can be a standalone journal. They don't have to be um, put into a cover like this, but they certainly can be if you want a little bit extra protection or if maybe you want to combine two journals into one notebook, you can do that. Um, but I kind of made them bigger than your average traveler's notebook inserts. They um, Bigger meaning they have more pages. There's 80 pages inside. Um, it's a junk journal style. And like I said, they have a closure on them. So they can really function as a standalone. But um, some people like to use covers. So you can absolutely put these into a cover and just use these, treat them like inserts. But I'm going to show you how you can decorate your store-bought cover using these um traveler's notebook. Sorry, I'm trying to trying to find my words here. Um, so the way we're going to do this, and you do not have to have a kitty dory um, in order to do this. The main thing that's going to be the decorative element is we're going to change out this elastic and use the fabric ties that already come with the kitty dories. So we're going to replace the elastic with these fabric ties. And you could do this yourself if you have fabric and you just want to switch out your elastic, you could use fabric. And each one of these ties is about 18 inches long. So you do need two of them. One of them will not be long enough to wrap around the notebook. So you need two 18 inch fabric ties. But I'm going to show you with these kitty dories um, how I did this. So the first thing you want to do is take the elastic out of the cover it's super easy to take in and you can put it uh, or to take out and put it back in later if you want um, it goes pull it right straight through there comes out really easy and goes back in really easy so then we need to take the fabric ties off of our kitty dory notebooks and these ties stay put when you open them and you untie them because I have them threaded underneath the wax linen thread that's at the spine so they don't go anywhere, but you can also easily take them out. So there's one, let me get the other one out. And then we're gonna sit these to the side for just a minute. And what you wanna do is, take this guy to the side. You're gonna thread this right through the hole where the elastic went. And it's actually really easy, even though the hole is really small, um, I found it really easy to get my fabric through there. Of course, I'm doing this without my glasses on, so I'm having trouble seeing. There it is. So you just pull this straight through, and you want to pull it almost to the end of the tie and make a little knot here in the end without too much of a tail. Um, I don't have my glasses on. So when I do this, I'm looking in my camera phone and in order to see that because the camera's up close, I have to have my glasses off because I'm getting old and I can't see. Um, 
detail like that up close if I have my distance glasses on. Okay, so you make a knot just like this. And the nice thing with these um, covers is there's space between where the inserts go. So this will lay there and not even be in your way. So you have one tie on there. Now for the second tie, I tried a couple different ways of doing this and I found that this way worked the best. So you just want to attach this tie to the other one on the outside, right at the spine. And you wanna make a knot right at the spine of this notebook. And just kind of pull this one taut so the knot is against the inside on this one and then just kind of knot it there so it has a small tail like that and now you have two fabric ties on either side and at this point let me set those to the side and put our inserts in I haven't even finished trimming these notebooks out or putting the vintage ephemera in them. These are two Kitty Dory Traveler's Notebook junk journals that will be in my Etsy shop tonight. It's Friday, March 29th, I think, but it's Friday. <laughs> and I just have a really small update for tonight. But um, so these are two notebooks. And I think these look so cute because of the trims. I haven't even finished adding all the trims, but you can see the pom-pom trim already dresses up a basic notebook. Looks really cute like that. I'll just do like a quick little little flip inside. These are so much more fun than just plain traveler's notebook inserts. Um, you could always put like a decorated one or a, you know, like a junk journal insert as one of your inserts and then just a plain, you know, lined paper insert as your other one just depending on what needs you have for your for your traveler's notebook and then to hold this closed instead of the elastic we're going to use the um the ties here and i find it's best to have the tie closure tied in the center like where the notebook opens because the one tie has to wrap around the back and it makes it too short to tie it in the front then the two ends are too um well, the one end is too short. So you can tie this right in the center here and then just kind of fluff out your fabric a little bit. And then you just might want to play with that a little bit. Get your fabric looking nice. But isn't that so much cuter than just a plain elastic? I love that. And then one other thing you can do to dress up your traveler's notebook, as I'm sure you know, a lot of people add um, charm dangles or tassels to their traveler's notebooks. And of course, shameless plug here, <laughs> um, I have these cheerful charm tassels that you could add to your traveler's notebook. Let me stand this guy up. And you pop that on there. And then you have a totally customized, personalized traveler's notebook planner set up. So that's all I wanted to share with you guys today. Just a little idea um, of how you can take a plain traveler's notebook cover and dress it up a little bit. So thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know down in the comments below. And I'll see you guys soon.